Well, you know, Daniel's big story is is when they ran a trick play. I was quarterbacking, and we went to the line of scrimmage. You clear all this with the officials? Before. Yes, yes, because they always ask for trick plays and whatever. And the, everybody gets set, and the center starts saying, Daniel, we've got the wrong football. And and so we start arguing. I'm like, no, I have the wrong football. No, we've got the wrong football. And our coach is on the sideline holding up another football. And so, you know, they're acting like it's my fault. Fine, I'm give me the football. And so he, you know, he side snaps it to me. There you go. And so I take it, and they kind of gripe at me. What are you doing? Go get the football. So I just hold my head down and walk to the sideline. The defense standing around like, what's going on? Well, I walked, trotted out there far enough till I passed him, and then just took off. And uh, he looks pretty fast here, but I'll stand yeah. still. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't get caught from behind. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I remember it. You know, it was a. Uh, it went to the El Dorado Times. You know, they caught wind of it. Then it was in the Wichita News, and then pretty soon it was the CNN Play of the Day. And then he's going to the David Letterman show. You know, so it just kind of snowballed. We never even had a TV growing up. So. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that we watched him. I knew who he was. knew he had a TV show, which was pretty significant. But uh, I've watched him more since then than I did before, I guess. It's no celebrity thing, but it's it's just a neat thing that gives exposure to the community and the school, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't happen very often. No. Yeah.